Hi guys, so we are driving to Bar Island right now off the coast of Bar Harbor, Maine. We have a giant trash bag with us and yesterday we picked up some trash as we were heading back uh, across the walkway and we noticed there was a lot out there so we're gonna go try to pick up some more trash today and I just feel like more people should be cognizant of this kind of issue. So um, yeah, let's see what we can find on beautiful Bar Island. This is what we have so far. It's everywhere. Everyone's walking around out here enjoying themselves. We're on bag number two, guys. Someone was nice enough to let us uh, dump the first bag in his truck so he can carry it back over there. After it got completely full, we also found like a hose and a couple things of wood with like a bunch of nails in them. What's the weirdest thing you found? Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. Also, PSA from me and Bean. If you're gonna pick up your dog's poop, don't leave the bag, that defeats the purpose. I'd rather you not pick up your dog's poop than pick it up and then leave the poop in the bag on the ground. Makes no sense. Should have left the poop. Just leave the poop. That's all we gotta say. <laughs> this is bag number two. Totally cool. Okay guys, so the reason I wanted to make this video is just to kind of raise awareness about what we are doing <clears throat> to our planet. And I know this is like some hippy dippy bullshit or whatever, but it's a real thing. And I wanted to show you guys that it's a real thing and a real problem. So I made this video so that you could see tangible evidence of the repercussions of our mindlessness when it comes to our trash. And I... I just wanted to show show you guys this footage, show you what me and Bean picked up on the beach. We actually ended up going back twice and there were three full days that we like just picked up a couple bits of trash that were on the beach and the first day that we like really went at it, we you, as you can see in the video, we gathered so much garbage and even the second day that we went back, um, we ended up filling up an entire another bag and it was really heavy and I don't know, it was kind of interesting to watch people watch us do it because you could tell that some people were really like thankful for us for picking up trash or whatever, which is not why we went out there to do it, you know, but people were saying thank you to us and it was really cool. A couple people even like went out and found trash of their own and then came and put it in our trash bags and they started helping out. And then other people, you could tell that they were just uncomfortable and like kind of didn't want to see it, you know, like they would be out there having a picnic with their family or just sitting on the beach or like picking up shells and taking stuff from the ocean but they weren't taking trash you know they were taking things that belonged there or whatever and you could tell that they just felt uncomfortable with us walking around picking up garbage because they weren't participating who knows maybe they had some guilty conscious stuff going on because maybe they left trash in the past but it, it, there were like two very different reactions that we got and um we didn't again we didn't do it for the reactions but i i did want to just kind of make a a point and show you guys the world can be so beautiful but we have to really take care of it and 
one of the things that I want to leave off on this video with is like a quote that I read in this book. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We are just borrowing it from our children. So if you keep that in mind, we're not taking on problems that have been like passed down to us all the time. It's also our responsibility now to make sure that we protect what we currently have to pass on to future generations. I know it's really easy to say that you're not going to concern yourself with future generations because it's not you. And I get that. A lot of people are very like focused on I messages and me like very present moment things. But just keep it in mind if you could. I challenge you to when you go out, if you're taking your dog on a walk, whatever it is, if you could just bring back one piece of trash, even if it's like a string on the ground, if you could just bring back one piece of trash with you and put it in a trash can every time you go out, every bit helps. It'll make a difference. And that's all I really wanted to say about it. So yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for listening to this message and I'll see you guys in the next one.